G'day, Teeth here from PickingLessons.com. In this mandolin lesson, we're taking a look at the sixth lesson in the beginner mandolin crash course you can find at PickingLessons.com. Now, in this sixth lesson, what we're going to do is have a look at this tune we just heard. So the Ash Grove, it's a lovely tune in three, four times. So we'll analyze what that means, what the waltz time, three, four time is. Uh, we're in the key of D, so we're expanding on what we've already looked at. So we're looking at the scale notes we looked at in the previous lesson for this tune. We'll also break down and analyze the chords we find in the key of D. So we'll look at all seven chords we find, plus some common substitutions. So we'll break those down, look at open position versions of those and some movable versions as well. And we'll also break down some rhythm exercises in three, four times so we can play along with the waltz time with our chords. So if you head over to pickandlessons.com, you better get all of that lesson there. But here in this video, we're gonna take a look at uh, an octave of the D major scale, but specifically in the three, four time and have a look at what we need to consider in the 3-4 time signature. Okay, so the first thing is 3-4 time. What that means is we have three quarter note beats per measure. So as we're counting, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's our pulse. Uh, one thing to take note of is that the first beat is typically stronger. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and so on. And so we're going to have a quick practice through an exercise here using the D major scale and really emphasize uh, that first beat within each measure. Here's an example. So you listen closely to where the accent, the emphasis is. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three. So there's our D major scale, and hear that uh, that that emphasis, the accent on beat one. One, two, three. One, two, three. It really drives along that waltz time, the three, four time signature. Okay, let's break down those notes. So the D major scale, we've covered this a lot already in this course, but let's have a quick look at the notes. So position wise, third string, D string, open two, four, and five. Then repeat that, open two, four, and five. So there are our notes. There's our left hand. If you don't know that, make sure you go back and check that out. Now, in the in the right hand, we're going to play all down strokes and we're going to emphasize beat one. So let's count that out. One, two, three. 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 So just a little bit stronger. So when you start to build that into your melody playing and your rhythm playing as well, you'll find that slightly stronger first beat will really give the three, four time signature a very nice feel. Okay, so that will set us up for this tune. We're going to learn the Ash Grove. Really pretty tune in three, four time in the key of D. We're gonna learn that together over at pickandlessons.com. So do head over there. Uh, the next part of this lesson, we're gonna break down and analyze some chords belonging to the key of D. So further our theory and thinking for the key of D. Uh, and then we will break down the tune as well. So pickandlessons.com, I'll see you there.